Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Today we'll start chapter number six Arabic sentences. In English we have only one type of sentence, but in Arabic we have two types of sentences. So the first one is called Jumlatul Ismiya and second one is called Jumlatul Failia. <coughs> Jumla Ismiya basically starts with the noun. Jumla Ismiya. Tabdawu. Bismin al jumlatul ismiya tabdao bismin. Then jumla failia tabdao bifailin. Al jumlatul failia tabdao bifailin. So jumla failia starts with the verb. This is the interaction between jumla ismiya and jumla failia. So we will learn this thing today. Then jumla ismiya has two parts. First one is called muptada, second one is called khabar. Muqtada means subject and khabar means predicate. Similarly, Jumla failure also has two parts, main parts. First one is called fail and second one is called file. So you will learn these things here. So the first student is Adiyat. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Read this. Okay. The, the Arabic sentence. In Arabic, there are two types of sentences. One, Al Jumlatul Islamiya. Jumlatul Ismiya. Jumlatul Ismiya. The nominal sentence two Jumlato Pilia the verbal sentence okay. the nominal sentence the nominal sentence is a sentence which begins with a noun and comprises of the subject and the predicate. The verbal sentence is that which begins with a verb and has two basic components, the verb and its predicates. So tell me how many types of sentences are in Arabic? From what I just read? Miss Adiyat. Sir? How many types of sentences are in Arabic? From what I read now is two. Okay, tell me their names. Okay, maybe she didn't understand. Nominal, it. nominal sentence and anyone can tell me what are the two types of sentences in Arabic? Okay, there are two types of sentences. First is called Jumlatul Ismiya. And second is Jumla Filia. So what is Jumla Ismiya? Anyone? This is the one that starts with uh, Ism. Okay, a sentence uh, which it, starts it has Muqtada Khabar. What is Muqtada and what is Khabar? Uh, Muqtada is the subject. Khabar hmm. is the predicate. So you learn this here. <clears throat> So we have, <coughs> now we have the examples of both Jumla Ismiya and Jumla Failia. So the next student is Mr. Ahmad. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Samples, number sentence. The student is hard work. Talibu Mujitahidun. The two pens are expensive. Alukolamani Saminani. The teachers are present. Alimu Alimuna Hadiru Hadiruna. Verbal sentence 
hadoro hadoro muallimun the teachers arrived yaktubu zaidu darusa zaidu is writing the lesson aktubu darusa i wrote the lesson i am writing the lesson or i write the lesson rama what are the two parts of jumla ismiya jumla to ismiya okay what are the two main parts of jumla ismiya um mubtada and khabar what is mubtada called in english um predicative subject mubtada in english is okay. called subject okay. next we have the mufrad musanna and jama examples of jumlatul ismiya so the next student is ali sheri ibrahim wa alaikum assalam read the examples Ajumulatu is me, yeah. The nominative, the nominal sentence. Examples Ali Akitabu Mufidu Akitabani Alkitabani. Akitabani Mufidani Al Kutubu Mufidat Mufidat Ba Al Mumin Minatu Onitatu Al Mumina Al Minatani Onitatani Al Muminatu Onitatu Jim Al Muslimu Sodekun Al Muslimi Al Muslimani Sodekoni Al Muslimuna Sodekuna. These are the examples of Jumla Ismiya in Mufrad is Sanna and Jama. Next student is Muhammad Sam Usman Ambalo. I start from explanatory yes. note. Yes. The, the nominal sentence is made up of two parts. The first part is termed Mubtada. Mubtada, the subject. The second part is called Khabaru, Al Khabaru, the predicate. Example Al Waladu. Toyibun Alwaladu Mubutada Toyibun Khabar, the predicate Alwaladu Mubutada subject. The subject is generally defined while the predicate is indefined, indefinite. And both the, both the subject and the predicate are more for on in the nominative case. The predicate confirm read the rules footnote with the nouns of footnote the nouns are coming okay. as oh the, the nouns occurring as subject and predicate are among the reasons for its being in the nominate case the predicate conforms yeah. oh, this one I can't say what the predicate confirms to the subject in two respects in number if the subject is singular 
predicate is also singular. See sentence in all three columns. The same applies to the dual and the plural. See sentence two in all three columns in sentence three in columns B and G. B and G. If the subject is the plural of an anonymate object, the predicate is generally feminine singular with Tamar Buddha. See sentence three column Alif. In gender, if the subject is masculine, the predicate is masculine, and if the subject is feminine, the predicate is feminine. If anyone has any question, they can ask me. Next, we have rule number eight. This is the revision of whatever you have learned in this chapter. Miss Fazadana. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa sallam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Where will I read? Rule number eight. Uh, there are two kinds of Arabic sentences. The nominal sentences, a jumla ismiya, and the verbal sentences, a jumla al -feliya. The nominal sentences begins with a noun and is made up of subjects. Mob Sada and the predicate Al Khabar. Both of them occur in the nominative case. The predicates confirm, confirm to the subject with respect of number and gender, except if the subject is a plural of an inanimate object, in which case. The predicate is feminine singular. Anybody, any question? No question to exercise number one. Fill in the blanks with the appropriate predicate. So here you need to add khabar to each jumla ismiya. So al masjidu, anyone can answer this. Baidun. Al Masjidu Baidun. The Masjid is far. Next. Fatima Zakia. Fatima to Zakia. Okay. Next. Al Khalatu Karibatun. What is the meaning of this? Um the aunties is near. Aunties are near, okay. Al Khalatu. But Karibatun is singular and Khalat is plural word. When, so is it correct or wrong? Uh, okay, Al Khalatu Sabiratun. Sabirun is masculine and Sabirat is feminine. So we need feminine word. Next. Al Baitu Wasi. Al Baitu Wasi. The house is special. Also translate your sentences, okay? Next. Okay, translation. The engineers are active or hardworking? Mujtahidun, hardworking, okay? Hardworking. Anyone? Al Ainani. Ainan means two water springs. Jariyatani, Alainani, Jariyatani, the two water springs are flowing, running like this. Next. Atolibani, Jadidani, 
at tabibani jadidan okay at tabiban jadidan next at tufahatani ladidan ladidatan lazizatani because tufaha is feminine okay next the kakin means shops Ah. Yes, so the kakina maftuha. Yes, the non intelligent plural. So we need singular feminine as a cover. Next. Al Kariatani Baidatan. Baidatan, okay. Next. Ashawari means roads, streets. Oh, Ashawa. Ashawari, you must be. It is not intelligent plural, so singular feminine is required here. Next. Al Kariatani Anyone? Alarika to Waliatun. The sofa is expensive. The couch is expensive. In this way, you will add any appropriate cover here. You can use dictionary as well. Then, exercise number two change the subject and predicate in the following sentences from masculine to feminine. You need to make uh, convert masculine into feminine al mu'minu sadiqun the believer is truthful al mu'minatu sadiqatun the feminine believer is truthful now you need to make them feminine anyone read this sentence uh, then uh, make it feminine at tabibatu hazikatun al mumarrizu nashitun feminine Al Mumarida to Nashitatu. Then Al Khadi Muaminun. Al Khadi Muaminatun. Aminatun. Al Khayatu Mahirun. Al Khayatu Al Khayatani. Mahirun. Al Khayatatu Mahiratun. Tratun. Al Ibn Salihun. Al Ibn Salihatun. Al Ibn Salihatun. Al Ibn Salihatun. Al Ibn Salihatun. So in this way you will do this question. Change the noun of the subject in the sentences below from singular to broken plural. And change the form of predicate into. You just need to make them plural. Okay. All of them are broken plural. Ashajiratu Musmiraton, the tree is fruitful. Al Ashjaru Musmiraton, the trees are fruitful. So, non intelligent plural, we use singular feminine. You need to remove this thing. Al Kitabu Saminon, the book is expensive. Al Kutubu Saminaton, the books are expensive. So, you need to make them plural. Ashariu Dayikon, anyone? What is plural? Ashawariu. Ashawariu. Next, Al Masjidu Kadimun. Al Masajidu Al Masajidu Kadimatun. Al Masajidu Kadimatun. Next. Al Aklam Maksuratun. Al Akaralamu Maksuratun. Next. 
Aljimalu. Aljibalu Shamihon. Shamihon. Aljibalu Shamihon. Okay. Asa a tu tamania. It is, it will mention Asa a tu samina tun. Next. The plural of the words Adviya. Adviya. Adiwi Adiwiya Murra Murra Al Adviya Tu Murra Tu Murra Tu Al Kisa Tu Mumti Atu Al Kisa Tu Mumti Atu Al Kisa Okay. Next. As Sayara to Rahi Satun. Next, as Zahra to Naziratun. As Zahra to Nadia. No, no. Al Azharu. It has two plural. Al Azhar and the other plural is Azhu. Al Azharu. What happened? Al Azharu Nadiratun. Al Azharu Nadiratun. Then Al Bustanu Jamilun Al Busatanu Jamilatun Al Basatinu Jamilatun Adasu Sabun Adduru Addurusu Sahbatun. So, someone is asking the meaning of sentence number six at the wow murrun at the wow mean medicine murru mean bitter the medicine is bitter in taste al adviya tu murratun the medicines are bitter in taste so in this way you will make them feminine then he is asking you to translate these sentences so first you need to look the meaning of Prices. So prices mean summon and high mean Ali. So in this way you will make them plural. Then you will join them and they will become plural. Okay. So you will use dictionary to make them plural. Then we have exercise number five. Following sentences have grammatical error. This is a very important question. So he's asking you to first tell the mistake, grammatical mistake, and then correct the sentence as well. So first tell me what anyone can tell me. What is the mistake in the first sentence? Tanvin uh, on the last it should be Iraqi. Yes, here we need Tanween at Iraqiya. So you'll just write Tanween on Iraqiya with some blue or red color so that I can know that you have corrected it. Then what is the mistake here? Ali Mohandisu Mahirun. Supposed to be Tomatan. Mahiratun? No. No. Mahiratun. Mahiratun. No. No. Anyone? Mahirun. Yes, Mahiruna. Because Mandisun is plural, we need plural. Jamma Khabar also. Next. 
So this means it has Alif Lam in the beginning. Alif Lam. At Tulabu. Mm. Second thing, Tulab you see is Marfu. Masru. Masru. It should also be Marfu. Mm. What is the Marfu of Masrurina? Masru. Masruruna. Okay. Masruruna is the Marfu form. Next. Mualimun al Mualimun al Hadirun. What is mistake here? The first Mualim should be Mualimun. Mualim Hadirun. So al Mualimun Hadirun. Hadirun. You don't need Alif Lam. Yes, you will remove Alif Lam from Hadir. Then next. So we need feminine plural here. Jadidatun. Al Makatibu Jadidatun. Next. Ummu. Alif Lam. Al Ummu. So you would add Alif Lam. We don't need Al in the second. Yes, and you will remove a jump from Sandika. Then Al Bintu Jamilatun. Number seven. Abdullah. So the word Dullab is masculine. It does not have any feminine sign in it. So we need masculine khabar here. It's a singular word. So when singular masculine. Next. Yes, it's correct now. Yes, when we have an Islam, we can okay, use the okay. name here. So, we'll correct it. Next. Yes, Islam here. Then you will make it feminine because sajada is feminine. As sajada tu iraniyatun. Then you do my time. Yes. Al bintu jamilatun. Al bintu jamilatun. In this way you will do this one. I am doing mark only so that the student also use their mind. Then use the following uh, words in sentences. Here is asking you to make a sentence with each word. So, can anyone make a sentence with Maukidun? What is Maukid? Sorry? What Mauk is Maukid? Maukid means stove. S T O V E stove. So, you can say. Al Maukidu Mush Alun. The stove is burning or it is ignited, it is kindled. Okay. Then next is Al Arabia. Al Arabia. Ohibul Lugatal Arabia. Okay. I love Arabic language. Then Milakatan Al Milakatan Kabiratan Al Milakatani Kabiratani. The two spoons are big. Next, Aswadi Kartu Simil 
इंटेलिजेंट देन आयशा कसलान इज फॉर मेस्किन एंड कसला इज फॉर फेमिन किधर मीन कुकिंग पॉट it is a feminine word it does not have any sign of femininity but arab considered is it feminine or usually if a woman it, so this word is considered as feminine word qidrun jadidatun al qidru jadidatun al mau baridun al mau baridun the water is called ashbakan the two windows ashubakani maftuhatan ashubakani maftuhan in the word shubak is maftuhan so it's duly also maftuhan kamiran in this way you will do it what we have no Yeah, you need to add mutada. Anyone, what is the mutada in first one? Al binatu salihatu. Al binatu salihat. Okay. Next. At talibani masuro. व्हाट्सएप and there is no need to do it so if you can do it yourself it is optional for you and you can ask me on my whatsapp if you have any question then you have the vocabulary of the chapter next time inshallah we start preposition and huruf in jara inshallah body any question so uh, uh, what is uh, homework for today i will upload it in the google classroom okay what are, all the exercises of the book are your homework all the exercises of your book are your homework okay thank you jawad for your anyone else anyone else you don't have any question so inshallah we will continue next time ma salama ma salama barakallahu fikum jazakumullah khairan wa iyyakum